interior of our Keystone hideout, the left hand side. As we come in, we're seeing a dinette which can be set up in two different ways. Here it is set up for dining. Uh, so you've got a table here that easily pops out with these two legs here. And then the table's going to sit on these two edges here so you can go completely flat and create a large sitting area or a double bed. You've also got a large amount of storage under both sides of the sitting area. So if I take this cushion out here. It's just got a little hole there and you can lift it up and that goes really deep. That's the whole length of the long sofa area. in front of it for keeping out insects so you to let a nice breeze through there and then you've got a nice big viewing window on that side so this whole section is a slide out so we've got a button here which just come in on the right hand side so slide room in and out so it's obviously out at the moment so we press in I just show it a little bit it's going to slide right in so that you can it slid right in for when you're moving and then when you set up in your campground it slides back out you've got all that extra space so then as we go here we've got the master bedroom we've got a queen size bed in there and then you've got storage in various places you've got two large cupboards one on each side of the bed you've got a large shelf going across the top and then under the bed there's a huge amount of storage under here, which is the whole length of the bed, so that's great. On, the, on this side you've got a large window that fully opens with an insect net on it, you've got your power points right next to the bed, and you've got a carbon monoxide alarm there, which is great. You've got air vents coming in here for the heating, and then on this side feature which is the uh, little flap so you can get down into the outside storage so you could use that for a laundry basket and we've set up a couple of hooks there uh, if you wanted to hang something up say you're pressing it up so as you're coming back in you're going to see the kitchen area on the left and then we've got two more double bunks side and then you've got a bathroom straight ahead and then you've got more storage over on this side. So in the kitchen area you've got a nice big sink with two sections, you've got propane gas hobs and a propane gas oven with a broiler and then above that you've got the extractor fan and the lights and then you've got a microwave. There's a lot of storage here for the kitchen so we've got one big area underneath the sink where you might store your garbage and any other household items. You've got a lot of storage up here, could be good for pots and pans. And then you've got two more shelves here for kitchen items and then you've actually got the built-in vacuum system down there which has been great. Uh, so then that just needs an extra connector that easily stores away under there and then you can quickly vacuum up everything. Then over here we've got a large fridge and a large freezer so that's running at the moment on mains electric hookup but when we go off grid that automatically switches over to run off the propane tanks. So there's two propane tanks on the front of the trailer which are 20 pounds each. So then down there you've got all your fuse boxes accessible and so here we've got two double bunk beds They're really spacious you could genuinely fit four people in there if, if required there is a window up the back we're actually using the top bunk at the moment for some extra storage for our little one uh, she's sleeping in here and as with the main beds you've got a huge amount of storage underneath that's going right back that can come across there. Just give them a bit more 
privacy into the bathroom. As you see more air vents down here. There's another one uh, by the TV area that we'll come up to in a second. Just got off the bathroom, so here we've got got a nice shower with a small bathtub there, which is great if you've got some young people that want a bath. Probably not big enough for a full adult, but you could have a, a, a small bath there. The extractor bath there, so that's great. That quickly clears out any humidity you've got in the bathroom. Uh, you've got a large medicine cabinet there with storage behind it. Then you've got uh, more storage down here, and then you've got a nice uh, sink down there. And you've got so some hooks and a mirror on there. More storage here, we've got that set up with some coat hangers. So that's full, full length. And then you've got more storage under there. This is the controls for the heating and the AC. So they're separate systems. So we've got uh, the AC, which will run when you're on full hookup. We've also got a fan setting if you don't need the full AC on. And then you've got a thermostat controlled heating system. Uh, it's a nice warm day today, so it's not kicking in just yet. But you can uh, control all of that. And then on the right, you've also got different fan configurations there. Then we've got two large cupboards over here, which can be used for all your kitchen and food storage. Cable. You've got a connection for that on the outside or any over air channels that you can pick up in your local area. It's got an HDMI connection so you can pretty much connect anything to it. Uh, you've got an Android box or vi video games console. You can also make use of this uh, Furion entertainment system below, so that's great for picking up any local radio. It's got a Bluetooth connection so you can play your own music from your phone on it. And it actually has two different modes, so either you can have it in zone one, which is the interior, or you can also have it playing outside on the exterior on zone two, if you've got a nice sunny day and some space outside. And so yeah, that runs on Bluetooth as well. It's got more storage underneath here and a nice bookshelf area. showing you what level your grey, black and fresh and battery are at. You've got a water heater switch here. Uh, you've got a warning light here to say you've not got any gas coming through at the moment because I've just disconnected the propane tanks. And then you've got a uh, water pump. So either you can pump city water or there's a built-in water pump if you are off-grid somewhere. It's got full flexibility slide out that we already looked at. Then we've got an awning outside which is controlled here and some light switches uh, and a master switch for the 